Welcome to a Foundation Focus. I'm Amber George here at Tennyson Middle School in the Atlas Academy's Culinary Kitchen. I'm joined by the Dean of the Atlas Academy, Ms. Sandra Gibson, and teacher Kathleen Knight. Ms. Gibson, last year the Waco ISD Education Foundation Surprise Patrol came on campus and granted one of your former teachers, who's now at University High School, Ms. Compton, a grant in the amount of $6,932 to remake the kitchen that was here. And the Tennyson Middle School kitchen probably had never been touched since say, it was built. Yeah. Can you Back tell? 30 years. So, anyway, the kitchen was in need of some love and care and some new appliances. And the students here at Atlas do six weeks mini courses on different things. Can you explain those mini courses? They are an enrichment period that the kids are able to select. We range from jewels to junk, which you're repurposing, to our kids in the kitchen mini course, to genealogy, sewing, uh, Rubik's Cube, mastering it. We have Music is America, where they're studying, you know, music across the ages, how politics has influenced that, um, mythology. We have some that are community service oriented. We have some community garden that has a partnership with the Waco uh, Hunger Relief Farm, where they come in once a week and share animals food and so forth to learn through those different cycles. Um, it's just a time for them to explore what they like, what they're interested in doing for six weeks. And they change every six weeks. So Now the students at Atlas, they still get their traditional academics and lessons and this is on top. Who comes to Atlas Academy? It'll, it'll be all the kids that are GT in the district. Um, in the spring we open applications and they come and they apply. We have tours um, we have parent informational meetings where they get to learn a little bit more about Atlas, what it's like a day in the life of an Atlas student. You know, they have four core areas over here, the mini course, and then we are um, fortunate to have athletics and fine arts and all the other electives with Tennyson. So it's the best of both worlds, actually. That's awesome. And now Miss Knight has our grant facilitator. You inherited Miss Compton's right. grant. And can you tell us about what this money did to your kitchen? Sure. Okay, what this money did, we were able to purchase two beautiful new side-by-side -side refrigerators. We were able to get a new hot water heater because the water was running orange, so we were able to actually uh, fix that. We were able to get some appliances, and we got four, uh, three new stoves, a gas range and two electric stoves. And they're both double ovens for the capacity of all the kids that want to take uh, Kids in the Kitchen, which is the mini course that I teach here yeah. at Atlas. And now today, for the kitchen's grand opening, you have invited parents, the students, and also some of your adoptive school partners to taste what the kids have made. Now, how did this, I know earlier Miss Gibson was telling me, I just was recommending, you know, some milk and cookies or punch. Now, what did your kids and your class turn this into? Well, I gave them the option to choose a recipe that they were interested in cooking, so they went online and chose something that they were interested in, and then we made it a contest. So we're actually, like on Food Network, they have created their own recipe and cooked it for everybody to sample and you get to actually vote and we're going to have a winner of the contest so um, and they also what's really incredible is these kids have been here they were here they came up on Monday on their holiday to work they also came up stayed here till seven o'clock last night and they have done everything they're amazing they've taken ownership of this and with co with um, cooking they learn math skills they learn um, proper safety and hygiene in the kitchen there's so many things that you can do with this in fact we're going to be teaching a mini course next six weeks where they're going to be doing around the world in 20 recipes so they're going to be learning all about the culture of countries around the world and they're going to choose a recipe that they want to showcase and we're actually going to have a showcase for parents and students to come check it out so well great job and i can't wait to go um, talk to some of the students and see what they've made now you know that your money and donations to the Waco ISD Education Foundation go to fund classroom projects just like this, where if a teacher has an amazing idea and tax dollars just fall a little short and can't cover it in the daily budget, the Education Foundation steps in. Let's hear from some of the students firsthand and see what they've learned. You've combined two of my favorite things, pizza and fruit. Ladies, can you tell me what you've created? Um, it's a fruit pizza. We looked up a recipe and it's like made out of um, sugar cookie and it has like cream on it and a variety of fruits. And what did you use for the glaze? Uh, we used pineapple juice and grape juice and some sugar too. 
Now, with the sugar cookie base, I, I thought it was graham cracker. With sugar cookie, did you just roll it out of a tube of Pillsbury? No. No. What did you do? Did you make it from scratch? Scratch. We rather have it at from, made from scratch. So that's what cooking's all about for us to learn how to make stuff. And I just go to the store and just say, oh, here's this. We done it. No. We just we made it from scratch though, from powder, baking powder, baking soda, flour, and a lot of variety of stuff. Good luck today in the voting. I can't wait to see who wins. I hope you're right. This has been eighth graders from Atlas Academy, Jeanette and Nellie. And now we're here with Marisol Palacios, Christine Madero, Stephanie Mendoza, Paula Ortiz. So what did you make for us today? Uh, herb coated goat, goat cheese. <laughs> herb coated goat cheese. Had any of you ever had this before? No. no. <laughs> so what was something that surprised you about the dish? Uh, the herbs going with the goat cheese. I haven't tried that before. Have you ever had herbs or herbs in anything else, maybe? Very, very little, not so much as it has now. Yeah. So. And then um, how long does it take to make something like this? It looks very fancy. It looks beautiful. 15 minutes top. About 15 minutes. So do you think if you ever had someone over to entertain, is this something that you would put out to impress them? Yes. <laughs> Do you have any pointers for anybody at home that's thinking about trying a recipe but is a little scared? Well, they should just do it and see and try it and see how they like it. Yeah. Just do it. So you've heard it here. If you're thinking about a recipe, don't be afraid. We weren't afraid of goat cheese and it turned out to be a hit. Good luck today. Thank you. <laughs> We're now joined by Ricardo Zuniga. Ricardo, what did you make today? All right, today we made um, caramelized onion apple tarts. It, it took a lot of effort like for my group to make it so whenever um, we took like um, pastry sheets that took like a long time to make it then we added um like right there that was done like the sheets was like all cut up then we uh, we started to make the onions bakery onions then we added an apple like a lot of apples in it then whenever that was all together all together all the apples and onions were all quickly brown. We added to the um, oven and we made it um, like golden so it could stay perfect. Then so you bake it until it's golden brown yeah. after you caramelize the onions and apples? Yes. So right there we are done with the, um, with the baking. We added um, fatanya cheese and tarragon for the herbs. Have you ever baked anything like this before? No, not even, ever. Do you cook anything at home? Yes, rice, uh, quesadillas, <laughs> like all other things so I could help my family so they could help me back. Yeah, and so do you think this is something that your family, you could try it out on them? Yes, I might make this at home. And now you know how to caramelize onions for all sorts of dishes. Yep. Congratulations, it looks beautiful. I'm jealous. <laughs> What a great turnout here at Tennyson Middle School in the Atlas Academy Culinary Kitchen. I'm Amber George. Thank you for watching another Foundation Focus. Remember, your donations to the Waco ISD Education Foundation fund classroom grants and teacher professional development opportunities. To find out more, visit us online at WacoISDFoundation.org. Thank you for watching WISD-TV. Learners today, leaders tomorrow.